Hey kids, it's a bit of a flyer here, hope you're well. Now this here is my Showy Quest helmet, that's uh, Q-W-E-S-T. Uh, it's a great helmet, bought it about five years ago. Um, wore it quite a lot for the first year, then I bought some other helmets, didn't wear it so much. Uh, and then recently I've been wearing it quite a lot on the sports bike actually, because I'm finding visibility wise, looking at the top part of the helmet here, when you're kind of looking down, using your eyes sort of upwards like that, I'm actually finding this very good on that bike. So I'm using it quite again now, quite a lot again now. But uh, as I say, I've had it for about five years, and I'm aware that uh, manufacturers say that after about five years, you should replace a helmet. So I've got me thinking, is it time that I got rid of the showy and bought something else? So stick around, stay tuned, and we'll talk about that. So who has got a view then on uh, how long you should keep helmets for? It's the manufacturers that say you should replace them every five years. Some, in fact, say even every three years. Well, they're the helmet manufacturers, so they kind of would say that, wouldn't they? So I think you have to take that a little bit with a pinch of salt, because, of course, it must depend on a lot of factors. So done a little bit of research and um, one of the quotes that comes up a lot is from the um, Snell organisation. Now they're, they're a group of people that just exist to uh, make helmets more safe. Um, it's named after a guy called uh, Pete Snell who was an amateur racer in the uh, 1950s and in 1956 he had an accident and was wearing a, a substandard helmet and needlessly lost his life and ever since then a group of his uh, colleagues and friends uh, decided they were going to try and make the industry safer and, and put some quality into helmets so uh, so they've uh, they've also agree on the five year reasoning and when they when they've been asked why is why is it five years what what dictates that they give the following answer and i wrote this down so just stick with me i have to read this to you why should you replace your helmet every five years well snell says the five-year replacement recommendation is based on a consensus by both helmet manufacturers and the snell foundation well you know i don't believe helmet manufacturers in this glues resins and other materials used in helmet production can affect liner materials hair oils body fluids and cosmetics, as well as normal wear and tear, all contribute to helmet degradation. Uh, Petroleum-based products present in cleaners, paints, fuels, and other commonly encountered materials may also degrade materials used in many helmets, possibly degrading performance. Additionally, experience indicates that there will be a noticeable improvement in the protective characteristic of helmets over a five-year period due to advances in materials, designs, production methods, and standards. Thus, the recommendation for five-year helmet replacement is a judgment call stemming from a prudent safety philosophy. Now, who can't disagree with a prudent safety philosophy? I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, you know spending money on helmets and keeping your head as safe as possible, of course. However, it does say it's a recommendation that's just a judgment call, so who's to say their judgment is any, any better than yours or mine? Um, it talks about things like noticeable improvement in helmets because of changes in technology over five year periods. Well, make your own call on that. I mean, to my mind, they're still basically the same as they've always been. A, you know, a, an EPS, a liner, um, polystyrene, and then carbon fibre or fibreglass, depending on how much you spent as the outer. Um, but I do agree that, um, you know, things like wear and tear, how you use the helmet, etc., of course, is going to have an effect. So let's just have a look at each of these. So one is, they say, things like uh, hair products and makeup. Well, it's been a long time since I wore any hair products, to be honest, uh, and I don't wear uh, makeup uh, other than at weekends. So, um, so that's not really been an issue, I don't think, with my showy. Um, Surely one of the bigger things that you should think about is um, how often you use it and what you use the helmet for. So in my case with this particular showy, I've used this, as I said, quite a bit to start with for the first six months or so. Then I bought other helmets. It's only in the last three months I've been using it again. So it's not had a lot of use over the five-year period that I've had it. I've looked after it well. It's been kept indoors in the warm and dry. It's not been near any solvents or anything like that that could attack the polystyrene. I've never had any sort of crash in it, I'm glad to say, so it's not damaged in that way. It has been knocked and dinged a bit, but it's not been, um, it's not been um, badly looked after, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, and the other thing is, um, there's a bit of a myth with helmets that if you drop them, they're automatically toast. Well, that, of course, isn't necessarily the case. Obviously, if there's a crack in the outer liner, then that is, that is going to be the case, then it's obviously it's, it's no use to you. But if the liner is intact, and uh, providing your head wasn't in it when it impacted the object, then the EPS liner won't be, um, won't be compressed in any way and the helmet should be good. So, so there's a lot of judgement to be used and if you're unsure about that you can always go to a reputable dealer and some of them offer the surface to check helmets to let you know if they're still good or not. But it is again, it's a judgement call, it's quite hard to tell whether the EPS has been compressed or whatever. So, um, so yeah, I think when it comes down to it, a bit of a judgement call, you have to decide for yourself how much have you used the helmet, have you had any accidents in it, what does it look like and if you're in any doubt get it checked over. But uh, I think what we could do with really is some subjective testing or some proper testing with data over a period of time to let us know in fact how these materials do degrade. I mean there's no doubt some of them do. Things like fiberglass um, shells, UV light attacks it, um, it's a resin structure which is, which is curing all the time over the years, it does get brittle. 
Um, things like that, as does polystyrene, in fact, which most of the liners are, are used. That gets brittle over time as well. So there's no doubt that they need replacing after a period of time. It's just a matter of what is that period of time. For me, I bought this. It cost me, uh, you know, in the region of £450-£500. It was a premium product. Um, so I personally will be keeping this for a bit longer, yet a few more years. But, uh, you know, there's an argument to be said, isn't there? Um, should you buy cheaper helmets and replace them more often, or should you go for the premium products and keep them longer? Don't know. Be very interested to hear your views, though. So do stick your comments down below. I try and reply to it absolutely every one of them. I certainly read them all. I'd uh, be really interested to hear your views. Okay, look forward to speaking to you next time. Until then, this has been the Missing Them Fly. Cheerio.